Got a point, and I'm gonna launch it. Hi everybody, Kat here from Sandy Stone Kennels and we have Quest who is just six months old and we are getting ready to go back out to the field with her on her second time out on uh, pigeon launchers in the field. So it's been a little while since we've been in the field with her due to uh, me coming up on the end of my pregnancy and then welcoming our little man a few weeks early. So it's time to get her back in the field. Now, because it's been a little while since we've been to the field um, for her to point birds or have the opportunity to point, um, I was expecting that we'd have um, quite a bit of progress because she hadn't really pointed any of her last birds. But there's the potential, since it's been so long, that she's going to be basically back at square one. But that's okay. Um, we'll see and gauge her reaction on these launchers. Um, again, we've set our launchers um, and our pigeon course so that we know exactly where those launchers are so that we can work her into the scent cone slightly downwind so that when she catches scent, I'm able to gauge that reaction really well. Uh, we don't want to put out any flags or markers that way. I'm just wanting to know exactly where they're at based on landmarks. So she is pulling and ready to go, it looks like, this morning. So we're going to get her unclipped and head out to the field. Okay, ready? Okay, good girl. Again, timing's really important when we're in the field with her, so we may have to wait to explain things after they've already happened. Right now, we're just letting her cover ground and work the field. I haven't used the collar at all to recall her back to me or anything like that. She's just checking in pretty cooperatively. I don't want to necessarily overhandle her uh, because I want her to build some confidence and some independence out here in the field hunting. Good girl, come on. So it'll be important that I'm ready to launch that first launcher as soon as I see her acknowledge scent, especially because it's been a little while since we've been in the field and I want everything to kind of click back into place and her to remember what we've been working on out here. Good girl, come on. Come on, Quest. Good girl, good girl. So I'm not discouraging her getting to chase on that pigeon. Uh, we had to work her back past that a couple times until she was able to smell it. Now she's gonna check the launcher out and point it, that's fine. I'd rather have her check that out, start to associate that scent with pointing. Um, and then as she gets older and more experienced with her nose, she's going to start to understand that there's no pigeon there, it's older scent, not hot scent. Um, but then we can go ahead and let her check it out. Go ahead, check it out. Yeah, let's move on. So I'm going to just vibrate her to get her back hunting in my direction. Uh, again, because I know where my next launcher is and I want to make sure that I'm able to work her downwind of that. I think based on seeing her coming back and pointing that launcher that we're going to see a point on this next pigeon. So we will see.
Good girl. Got a point and I'm gonna launch it. Hi, I just wanted to stop and take a minute to thank you for watching our free videos. If you've enjoyed watching Quest through her puppy training series, head on over to our Patreon account to show her some puppy love to support these videos. Got a point and I'm gonna launch it. I'm not gonna push the envelope or I'm gonna try and work in or walk in or anything like that on those birds yet because like I said, first time back out on launchers since her first run. Um, and the fact that we're pointing at all is making huge improvement. So I don't wanna get greedy with my training session. Had a girl. And she's still a puppy. She's like, what is that thing? I gotta try and grab it. She's doing a nice job hunting and covering ground in front of us really cooperatively. With very minimal handling. I think I've used the collar twice with her just to turn her around and head her in our direction. So I know where my launcher's at, and that was not where my launcher's at, but she's being a little cautious, which is fine. She might've caught a little bit of scent. That's where my launcher's at. Good girl, Quest! Letting her chase. Good girl! She realizes she's not gonna catch that one. It's not gonna be shot for her. Um, so she stops chasing and comes back. So that was our pigeon course for today. She made a ton of improvement um, from her last opportunity to go out in the field. I'm just gonna call her to me and clip her up. So I'm gonna use Vibrate, Quest here. Ah, uh -uh, Quest here, good. So I didn't let go of Vibrate until she got all the way to me. She tried to kind of skirt me for a minute there and I just, I used Ah uh Ah -uh as a little bit of a negative correction where she understands that she's not supposed to avoid me, um, but I'll get her clipped up and then explain a couple things. Um, so this was a really great example of the fact that she hasn't been worked on pigeons in launchers in probably about a month. Life happens, we get busy, um, our personal dogs sometimes get put on the back burner, but it also goes to show that a little bit of maturity, letting things kind of percolate after her first exposure to pointing pigeons and launchers or going out and trying to point pigeons and launchers, things sometimes just click then the next time you go out. And some people really get caught up in, I have to train, I have to train, I have to train. And they sometimes overdo it. So, <laughs> For Quest, in this situation, less was more. Uh, she's not been in the field, but we've been doing other things with her, playing retrieves in the backyard, hanging out in the evening on our dog beds. Settle down for a minute, we're done in the field for now. Um, so she's been working on other things, just not field work, and that's okay. If you can't get to the field you know, more than two, three um, times in a month, it's not a big deal. They're gonna get there. And sometimes, like I said, less is more. So <laughs> you say we need more because she's excited and ready to go. But um, we've got what we were looking for today, a couple points. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Settle down. There we go. Um, and definitely keep tuning back in. We'll be doing more with Quest uh, this winter and spring. Mm -hmm.